We are back at it again with another $1,001 bills in our quest to find some fancy serial numbers, some rare star notes, or some printing errors. Hey everyone, this is Rob Fiennes Treasure and welcome back to the channel. In front of me today, I have a $1,001 bill search today in our quest to find some fancy serial numbers, rare star notes, printing errors, web notes, bar notes, or maybe even some older bills. Now, if you guys are new to my channel or new to bill searching, I have a lot of resources and links listed down below in my video description to help you out. Feel free to check them out. On top of that, if you'd like to know where I got my bill hunting mat, I have these for sale on my website. You can find that listed also down below, or I even put a quick link to it right here. Now, enough of that. I'm ready to get started. Unfortunately, even though I ordered $1,001 bills from the Federal Reserve Bank, I ended up getting teller straps today, which I'm okay with. These straps are straps that the tellers put together for me from all their business deposits. And typically I don't have the best luck in teller straps, especially if the teller is a keen bill searcher like myself, but more often than not, they are not. So we should have some fines, hopefully. We've talked long enough. Let's get this hunt started. I'll be going through each of these 100 bill straps at a time. I'll give you guys strap wrap-ups of the finds if we have any. And of course, if I find something amazing as I'm hunting them, I'll bring it back early. Let's see if we can find some fancy notes. First strap has been hunted. Nothing fancy, but it got us kicked off with our first star note find of the hunt. Based on the serial number, if I recollect, it has to be over 16 million for it to be rare. I think this is a common one, but we'll double check it at the end. Of course, I have the Star Note lookup site listed down below as well. We always want to check to see if we have any rare ones based on the total number they printed and how many were printed in the run of the certain serial numbers. That one, our call, is part of a large print run and it's not rare, but we'll double check. One strap down, nine more to go. Come on, strap number two. Strap number two was a bust. No fines. See if we can do better in strap number three. Strap number three was slightly better. We got two star notes in that strap. That makes three star notes in total now through three straps. And as you guys know, my mission is at least find one star note per strap hunted. So we expect to get to 10 if we can. Although a lot of the hunts have been ending in nine star notes. Still, it's nice seeing three. All right, strap number four, keep us on the board. Strap number four managed to give us our four star note, so we'll take it. And the last bill of the strap that I put on top was a close call to being a repeater, 1090, 1023. Not that close, but figured I'd share something with you since all we've got so far is four star notes. We'll take another star note. We'd like to see something fancy in strap number five. Well, unfortunately, strap number five was a complete bust. So we're halfway through with the 10 straps and all we have is four star notes so far. No birthday notes, no fancy serial numbers. We haven't even seen a bill below 2001 yet. 2001 was the oldest bill I've seen. We have five more straps though, so anything can happen. Come on, strap number six, help us out. Strap number six said, I can't help you, no fines. Pretty rough hunt so far. Still only four star notes through six straps now. Is lucky number seven gonna show up? Well, believe it or not, strap number seven was also a skunk and it's not often I get skunked in three straight straps. So that's kind of concerning. The only note worth mentioning is this one. It's a newer note, 2021, 1100, 1999. I kind of like it because it's got a year at the end and a month, I guess. So if someone was born November of 1999, maybe it's something they would like. Would have been nice if that zero zero would have been a zero one or any other number between one and 30, but it's not. Still nice enough that I'm going to hold on to it because it looks kind of fancy. The bill's got some fold creases from a bill fold, but it doesn't matter. It's still a pretty nice bill overall. And heck, if we're not finding stuff, we got to find ways to find stuff, if you know what I mean. Come on, strap number eight. Let's see if we can find a legitimate find for this slow board and slow hunt so far. Well, we finished strap number eight. And once again, it was not great. The good news is, even though we had no fines, we did have our oldest bill of the hunt, a Series 1995 note. And for those who've been following along on my channel, you know about the web notes. I have information about them down below as well in the video description. But basically, you want to check your Series 88As, your 93s, and your 95s. And you're looking for the printing plate number to be above In God We Trust. 
not below here on one. And if I flip it around, you can clearly see the printing plate number is below one. And that means it's a regular note, not a web note. You also can look up here to make sure there's no ink up there. And this one has that as well. Either way, I am keeping all of my pre-2000 bills for a few other collectors that are subscribers. So I'll hold on to that. I'll pull it out. We'll get a filler note to put back in this strap. And we've only got two more straps left to have more finds than what we've got. Let's see if number nine can help us out. Unfortunately, strap number nine did not have any star notes or fancy seal numbers yet again, but we did have another 1995 series note. Of course, I flipped it around, printing plates below one. It's not a web note. We'll just add it to the older notes section. I'm starting to think that these sets of bills one was from one set of drawers and the other one is from somebody else who might have cherry picked them because we've now gone through all of the straps on this side except for the final one and not found a star note. And that might be four or five straps in a row without a star note find. And I don't see that very often. Either way, we've got one left. Let's hope it goes out with a bang and find something for us. So fingers crossed. Come on, strap number 10. Don't be a skunk again. Yep. Strap number 10 was another skunk. I believe, at least I think, because I had two rubber banded uh, straps of 500 bills, I think the ones on the right here came from a teller or from already a collector who redeposited them and the teller ran them through and just wrapped them back up. We had nothing in these five straps on this side, including the pull from strap. So pretty much believe that we got a search through or at least if not a customer search through, a teller search through brick of 500 there. The first 500 were not bad. That's where we had most of our finds. Wasn't a lot of finds today. All we have is four star notes. That's one of my lowest number of star notes in a 10 strap hunt, but it's gonna happen. Let me plug them in, see if we have any rare ones, and I'll bring you guys back with a final thought on the hunt, as well as to let you know if we had any rare notes. All right, we've plugged in all of the spines from today's hunt, the four different star notes into the star note lookup site. This 2013 one, not rare. 2017A, not rare. Same with that one. Close on this one, like I said, had to be above 16 million. It's only 13.5 million. That being said, this 2021 is a rare one. And I was hoping it would be based on being an A and being in decent shape with a lower serial number. So I went to the Star Note lookup site, plugged in $1 bill 2021. That's the serial number without the star. You don't need the star there. When you hit look it up, it says, are you sure? Yes, I am. 640,000 on the run size, a total printed of 640,000 and on sheets. So it puts it about midway up the rarity scale on the total number of printed and about a third of the way up the rarity scale on the run size. So definitely, definitely we'll take that. It is definitely a pretty rare one. Anytime you get under a million of them totally printed and on the run size, you're in pretty good shape. And I know it has some creases, but it's still in nice shape overall. I'll put it in a bill saver here in a second. For those wondering about value, typically star notes like these circulated ones up here, even though in pretty decent shape, fetch two or three dollars a piece. This one being more rare, might be about an eight to ten dollar note. Had it been crisp uncirculated, probably could have got a twenty dollar bill for it, but it's not that nice. Unfortunately, despite going through 10 straps, we didn't get anything as far as fancy serial numbers. This was the fanciest bill we found. That's why I firmly believe we got a picked through bunch here as well as a not picked through bunch on the left. You never know what you're gonna get. That's why you gotta hunt. Of course, it's also nice adding a couple of 95 notes to my pre-2000 pile, so I'll definitely do that. I know there wasn't a lot of fancy serial numbers. I know there wasn't a lot of fines, but at least we had one rare note. If you guys enjoyed this 1000 bill or 10 strap hunt with me today, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.